just talking about uh, Paige Whitehead, who says she is the founder of uh, Nyoka Design Labs, asks, what do you think um, the most powerful biotechnology applications are to ensure humanity is able to live sustainably on our planet for centuries to come? Oh, that's a, that's a, well, that's a, that's a big question. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have a great answer uh, for you. It's a really important question. I guess, you know, when I think about, I guess what that question is making me think about is, um, is the challenge of climate change, really, because I think that to me, that is really the biggest uh, challenge that I think humanity faces together, you know, in going in the future, especially thinking, you know, many years in the future. And so how do we address that? And at the Innovative Genomics Institute, our, our thinking there is that we really need to be, it has to be a kind of a two-pronged approach from a science perspective. We need to be working on agriculture to, you know, uh, create plants that are going to be resistant to drought, resistant to pests and things like that that are going to be increasingly problematic with climate change. And the other thing that goes hand in hand with that is thinking about the microbial world and how do we manipulate microbes um, I'm doing some work right now with Jill Banfield's lab that I'm very excited about that actually uses CRISPR to edit microbes, not individually in the laboratory, as many people are already doing, but to do it in their natural context of a, a, a complex population of microbes. And imagine that that, you know, if that technology really becomes, uh, you know, possible to utilize in different microbial systems, then you could imagine manipulating microbes in ways that will be also incredibly important for agriculture, but also for, um, you know, other environmental applications. And, and the human microbiome is, a, you know, an important uh, application of that as well. So I think that to me, that's, uh, that's where I would be focusing, honestly, is, is thinking about how we, how we address the challenges of climate change productively. Great. So um, I know we had a lot of other questions that were submitted.